Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm quite the ordinary artist, and for those of you who actually care, you've probably been wondering where I've been for the last month, and that is, I've actually been learning Blender. Now, if you're not sure what Blender is, it's a 3D modeling software in which you can create, well, 3D models. So I thought, what would be a more fun way to use Blender in my uh, videos to use a random noun generator to choose what I make in it? This is a terrible idea. So the noun I got was hair, and hear me out here, as a very, very new Blender user, I thought the best way to use this noun was to use the hair particles, which I've never used once in my life and have no idea how they work. You can probably see where this is going. So I pulled up my uh, Blender, I deleted the default cube, and I created this. It's, it's green, it's a flat plane, it works. Uh, and then I... Uh, used hair to try and make grass, and newsflash, using the hair particle system without interpolated children on particles is not a good way to make grass, but because I didn't know about the interpolated children feature, I, I had like one blade of grass every foot. I then proceeded to use walk navigation to position my camera, which I now know is a terrible idea, and instead you should lock your viewport view to your camera. It's a lot easier and uh, flexible than walk navigation. And once I positioned my camera, instead of uh, extending the grass plane I already have, I had the genius idea of not being normal and putting four of them next to each other and having to position the camera again so that it looked normal. Uh, you can still, if you really look, see the stitching. Then I did what completely ruined the artwork and I should not have done. I should have just left it as a grassy plane. Uh, I started making trees. So at first I went to textures.com, a great texture website to get a texture for a tree. Uh, and then after messing around with it for a very long time, I realized that I do not want a texture on this tree because my grass does not look realistic, therefore it would not match. So I decided, all right, I'm going for a cartoon style. So I brought him some triangles thinking that I could make a pine tree. And at first this worked pretty well, uh, I got the brown texture as well for the uh, log using hex codes because I have no idea how to use brown textures, or I guess make brown textures, I don't know how anyone does it. So uh, I now have this tree, this pine tree, and uh, instead of making different tree models for everything, I just decided, okay, I'm gonna put this one tree everywhere. And then the center piece was this bigger tree that didn't look any different from the other ones. Uh, I then started making clouds, uh, which I didn't realize you can use volumetrics and shader nodes at the time, and I just made one big cloud model out of tons of spheres. So I positioned up my clouds in the sky. Uh, this took a bit of work to get it right, uh, and I had to change the material to uh, a whiter material so that it's you can see it better. And in the end, it was a small touch, but I guess it, it, it was fine. It, it made the artwork look a little bit better than it was before. And then here is the monstrosity. This is where I attempted to use hair on my tree, uh, specifically on my centerpiece tree. And as you can tell already, this looks hideous. Because once again, I didn't know about the interpolated children feature, I just basically put a ton of lines on a tree and hoped it would work, and it did not. And then I just, I guess, left it there. I could, I could, uh, in a different video, I might expand on this and uh, use my current knowledge to make this a better artwork. Please tell me in the comments below if you'd want that. I think it'd be cool. But you know it's not cool? This is the end of the video. So for now, have fun and stay safe, because I'm out.